to the House of Royalty. I'm Trivina, your host of this amazing home decor lifestyle, beauty, and all things glamorous channel. Here, you guys, you will notice that there is a slight difference to the channel in that we have changed the name. Anytime God gets ready to elevate you, he's going to make some changes. And I think in this case, you will see that change is good. Guys, I'm so excited about today's video and that I have some amazing things to share with you encompassing the name change, House of Royalty. The reason for the change, you guys, is because I am encompassing every part of Trevina, from home decor, lifestyle, beauty, fashions, event planning, business, and so much more. So it's only fitting that I change the name to encompass everything that I'll be sharing with you moving forward. Guys, I have so many exciting things to share with you. I'm talking beauty, I'm talking organization, I'm talking home decor, cleaning, fashions, fragrance, and so much more. So without any further ado, let's get into the hump of it all. Now go ahead and grab yourself a beverage of choice because this is going to be a nice, long, luscious haul, honey. It's good and juicy, full of all of the good things that makes us the kings and queens that we are, right? So let me grab a sip and we'll get right into the business of it all. And today, guys, I'm just sipping on a little bit of H2O. So, y'all, are you ready for the newest update to one of my favorite, favorite brands? Can you guess what it is? You already know, it is my friends over at Dossier. You guys, they have gone and leveled up as if it could even be possible. You guys, they have added their own signature fragrances and they've made another exciting change that I'm gonna be sharing with you in a little bit. First guys, let's get into the Darcier Signature Fragrance. Now they sent me one over, it was a blind choice, I did not select it, but we're gonna give it a whirl and just see what it's all about. The one they sent me was Rose and Basil Bliss, which I think is very signature to the season at hand. We're, some, we're spring going into summer, so any flaws to me just scream spring. So this one guys, it says the scent, basil, violet leaf, and luscious red fruit bring a green dewy sensation to the notes of the Bulgarian rose and enveloping you in a soothing, plenteous symphony. So when I hear basil, I do think relaxation. I do think tranquil. And when you hear rose, you think sweet and sexy. So let's see what this combination is going to give, okay? Top notes are basil, orange, red fruit. Middle notes are Bulgarian rose, geranium, and violet leaf. The base notes are Virginia cedar wood, um, Pelotrop floral, and vanilla. Now, anything that has vanilla usually has your girl in a chokehold. So let's give it a spray and see what she's giving. Because I've never smelled this, I'm going to use. I'm going to spray it on the card. And you guys know, if you haven't heard about Dasha here, I don't know where you've been. And if you're new to the royal family, Dasha here is a friend to the family. Okay, it is an inspired by fragrance line that carries the utmost beautiful fragrances inspired by some of our favorite designer and niche fragrances. They keep their packaging sleek and simple, which keeps the cost low to you. And a girl is all about the savings, right? So you can purchase a fragrance that would retail or designer brand cost you two to $300. Get that same fragrance when I tell you it's identical to that fragrance for $29 to $59. So it's a no-brainer, right? So let's get into this basil, uh, rose basil, I mean. I wanna, I'm really intrigued by the combination because to me it gives two totally different feels and maybe that's the goal. So let's, I'll spread it here. And this is called the Wellness, okay, so I get it. It's called the Wellness Collection. I am at immediate spray, I think Tranquil. Oh, it's very soothing. And I do, I do get the rose notes in there. Very rosy. This is a nice fragrance. It, it does definitely give in wellness. It's not super sweet. It's not sweet at all, actually. It's a nice floral. If you are a true floral girl, this would definitely be a choice for you. It's nice and relaxing. Perfect if you want to take a good soothing bath and wind down for the evening. I think this would be the one. Thank you, Darcia, for sending over one of your very own original fragrances. So if you did not know, not only do they offer designer-inspired fragrances, they have their own collection of signature Darcia fragrances. And this, again, is the Rose and Basil Bliss from the 
well in this collection and the more I smell it as it dries down the basil kind of takes a back seat and you get that rosy freshness which I like I'm, I'm here for it I, I'll give this a whirl so I'm loving that one you guys this one I wanted to round out my collection I am a Chanel girl through and through when it comes to fragrances guys and I'm kind of delving into the world of the beauty from Chanel as well but one of the fragrances that they have um, I did not have in my collection. So far, I have the Inspired Coco Chanel. What, Chanel number five? I have Mademoiselle. I have Gabrielle. And now, I have um, Chanel Chance. This is the Woody Hyacinth. And you guys, it is spot on to Chanel. Oh my God, the Ch Chance line. I love this. It's a beautiful, sweet, youthful, dewy, very vibrant for the spring season. I love this fragrance. I smelled it in the store and I was like, let me try, of course, my, my, my girls, my family over at Dyson, let me try their fragrance first. I have samples of the um, Tender, the Chance Tender in my collection, but before I went and plunged into the full on purchase, I wanted to try this one and I can tell you guys, it's spot on. It is spot on. So this is the Woody Hyacinth. It's part of the Chanel House Inspired Breaking Fragrances by Dossier. Now, what I am most excited about, guys, as if Dossier couldn't get any better, they went ahead and upgraded us, guys. They came out with a larger quantity size bottle, and I am here for it. So it's if you love a particular fragrance, you typically want to buy it in a larger quantity, 3.4 ounces or larger and this you guys is one of my favorites it's the ambry saffron that is inspired by baccarat 540 i mix this with my um doo -doo 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 -doo. what is it i can see my bottle delina and it's amazing it's amazing mixed with delina absolutely gorgeous combination but this guys is the upgraded bottle of the ambry saffron Again, this is probably my fourth or fifth bottle, but when they sent it in a larger, almost double the size, your girl was singing because I was excited about it. Again, if you're not familiar with the Ambry Saffron, it is a very, very sweet gourmand fragrance, which means it smells like a food, if you would. It's super sweet, and I love a bold, sweet, heavy-hitting fragrance. And this one, guys, is just that. It is the top notes are saffron orange and blossom, middle notes, jasmine, plum, and cedarwood. The base notes are oak moss, fir, basil, and amber, and it is absolutely amazing. This one is unisex, so you and your king or significant other may enjoy this as well. So thank you, Dr. Sierra, for sending over these amazing fragrances. I will be rocking up and smelling oh so yummy all of the day. So now, guys, let's get into the rest of the haul. All right, guys. I really don't know where I want to start because I have some of everything from some of everywhere. But as I look to my right, I feel like I want to go in this direction because this is from Shein. Now, we know Shein to be famous mainly for their clothing. But did you know that Shein carry home decor um, and organization as well as cleaning and beauty supplies? Mm -hmm, they do. They got it all. They're a full house of everything, much like House of Royalty. So I'm going to share with you what I picked up from Shein in the home department, if you will. So first up, guys, I picked up these. And I'll pop a picture, if I can, of these. These are the little terry cloth covers that go over like your Swiffers, your Swiffer brooms, and I'm going to use them to clean my walls and so it comes with a pack of one two three and four of these and i'm maybe two dollars don't quote me but maybe two dollars okay keep it in the cleaning vein of it all this is ideal if you have tall ceilings or just an area that is hard to reach i'm just showing you the extending pole here this is and i think it, it has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten levels of extension on this pole and to this pole you would attach um, you have your flat, you have your flat insertion for like if you need to clean blinds or just like any hard to reach area. You have the little poofy, ideal for cleaning ceiling fans. And then you have this one here for like this hard to reach, maybe like up in your corners. But I picked this up just to do some extensive spring cleaning in the house. Again, not very expensive. I'll pop a picture and hopefully post the price underneath, okay? Now going into, this is more of a 
I don't know what this is. Kitchen essentials. Sorry. But this, you guys, is something that I have to buy off. I don't know. Let me know if your house is like this. Then it is the microwave covers in the um, the cover lids that you use to cover your plates up. And this was one I saw, and I thought it was interesting in that it has this little snap-on deal. Let me break it on camera. Okay, there we go. Has a, not a, yeah, this is a snap-on handle, and I thought that was ideal. You simply place that over the food, and it even has like a little vent to open it up or close it off if you need to. And it just sits over your plate, and I thought that was really, really neat. I probably need to grab a couple more of these because somehow mine will get cracked, they'll get stained, something will happen to them. But I went ahead and got another one of these. And because I'm always doing some type of cleaning around the house as well as in the salon, I picked up their um, disposable gloves. And so I got the powder free because I have a uh, latex allergy. So I picked up just the size large and I wanted to see what the quality of them were for a box of 100. It was only like three or four bucks. So I was definitely wanting to give that a try, okay? And I think that is all like the home maintenance things, you guys. But when I tell you I went in on the clothing, I really believe that I set up one night and everything that I had in my cart that I must have just pushed order all because the things that came, I was like, when did I order this? When did I order this? It was, that was a constant. When did I order this? With this box after box after box. I'm not going to share everything in this um, shopping haul. I am going to be doing some actual clothing um, try on hauls as part of collaboration with Shein, but I wanted to share with you some of the fun things that I purchased on my own coin because I love them just that much. So, up first, guys, I'll start with just this cute little necklace summertime to me screams bold vibrant colors and i love to set off every ensemble what a cute little neck piece or statement piece and this guys is one of those it is what they i think they call it the bone um necklace and i'm even inclined to purchase a second one and double it up for even more dramatics but it was very inexpensive i love the bright vibrant colors here and I have a collection of like the big chunky bracelets and all of these colors so I knew they would work perfectly with my earrings as well as my um, bracelets so I can mix any combination with a cute little solid color maybe a white top a black top or any of these color outfits and really make a statement for the spring summer so I picked that up and I want to say this again I'll drop a price if I don't I'll link it in my description box okay so next thing guys when I tell you there is things, there are things everywhere because I am doing some batch recording. So I'm recording this video along with some trial on hauls. I'm giving you different looks and different for different occasions. So be on the lookout for that. I've got some things oh, I'm gonna share that with you. I'm moving ahead, I'm moving ahead. So let, oh, here we are. She in. I get excited, girl. And I just wanna I just want to tell y'all everything. I feel like I hadn't said and talked to my friends in such a long time. So it's like let me let me give the girls and the guys what I have been up to. You always know if I'm, if I'm absent on this side of the camera, that means I'm busy behind the camera, right? So, I picked up these really cute, like, chunky gold earrings to me, nothing. Sets an outfit out for, like, a nice little gold ensemble. And I picked up also this cute little combination. Again, I'll pop them on the screen. It is the African-shaped earrings as well as the African-shaped necklace is something cute and sold if you want to layer up some jewelry that would be great for that which is what i had in mind okay moving right along moving right along what else do i have over here y'all i say there's so many goodies to share oh how can i forget y'all now this is going to be part of a shopping haul of an actual dedicated clothing haul but it was so good it was so nice i want to share it twice y'all but it's not other than this ah absolutely love this bag it looks like a piece of decor like how stunning is this bag and it is really really trending right now it comes in the gold it comes in the silver i've even seen it in like a charcoal gun metal color which i'm considering getting it is absolutely stunning i seen it on another side in like an ombre just so good for any occasion you can literally set this on your counter or on a shelf in your home as a decor piece isn't that fabulous but it is actually they purchase you guys. Look at that. Oh girl, I'm ashamed. Look, look what's, well, it comes with it comes with the chain, of course, but I'm gonna rock it like just a little clutch piece. So cute, so divine. But y'all, do you think you think I'm exaggerating about this order? 
Look, look at this. Look at it. Look at who. Oh, this is why you don't. This is why you don't. This is why you don't shop at three o'clock in the morning. This is why you land up strolling. This is this why you don't do that. Though. This and, and li literally, there are like rows of items in each section. Like what, Trevina? What were you thinking? What? I literally had to push select all. I had to, y'all. I don't. Anywho, don't judge me. Judge you. Ain't it cute? All right. So now, guys. We're gonna move on to the next store. Up next is Ross, you guys. Now, I had not been to Ross in quite some time because I honestly started to feel like nothing was nothing was jumping out at me because I am literally at the point in my decor life that I do not need another wine glass, another dinner set, another set of stemware, another nothing, okay? That don't mean I won't get it, but I don't really just need it. So I try to refrain from those stores that I know I can pick those things up, you know, at a, at a really, really good price. Because that will tempt me to just buy it even though I don't need it. So I'm trying to do better. Well, I'll take that back. I'm trying to shift the coins in a way that's more advantageous to me. I'll say it like that. Because I don't want to lie to y'all. Because you know better, right? So, in Ross, I picked up something that is quintessential to my relaxation life. You want to know what it is? Baby. At this stage of my life, approaching the big problem, there is nothing more soothing or relaxing or luxurious than coming home, getting a good shower, rinsing the makeup and the day off your face and off your body, and slipping into a nice moo-moo, honey. So I <laughs> had torn a couple of my moo-moos, and they were just the most comfortable things to me. Like when I'm around the house and just lounging, I love to just throw one on. My family knows when I slip into one of these, don't bother me. Give her her tea and let her be. That's that's kind of that's kind of the vibe that they're on. And I know that Ross and Burlington are like quintessential for like really inexpensive moo moos or caftan. That's kind of the technical name for them. It's caftans or caftans. But my grandmother and my mom called them moo moos, so I'm gonna call them moo moos. Okay. And this one was $9.99. And I remember a time, you guys, I used to get them for like $4.99, $6.99 from Burlington. But I just love the design of this one. Really sleek, I love it, love it, love it. Sleek in the black and white color scheme and I love that little pop of the tribal or the African prints there. So I added that to the Moo Moo plan, okay? Saudi, not Saudi, y'all. And this was something that I contemplated on for the next tree styling. You know, I'm still doing my monthly styling. Mother's Day is approaching. So we have to do something to honor the queens, honey. So it's going to be very, very royal if I do say so myself. And I had this thought, it's, I was just sitting up and it came to me in a way, a way to honor my moms, my mom, my grandmother, my great grandmother, my mother-in-law, just all of those women. And I was like, how can I style this tree but truly encompass these beautiful women? So I, that gave me the color hue and the theme of course, but there are a signature pieces or things that I'll be using in that tree. And nothing says queen or regal or royalty to me like diamonds and pearls, baby. That's, ooh, I just love it. Nothing classic than a set of pearls. And so when I was in Ross, I had this idea in mind. I knew that I wanted to take some photos and I wanted to print them up in black and white of each of these beautiful ladies and display them in my tree design, right? But I needed the frames to pop. I have a collection of beautiful... Um, like champagne and I had thought to even let me step over here guys and pull one out because I have a huge collection of them like here is one that highlights um us and three of our baby girls from I think a Thanksgiving but this is the hue it's a beautiful champagne you guys that is my signature me metallic of choice I absolutely love this metallic because it's so versatile it can go with silver or gold so anytime I find something in this hue furniture frames decor whatever I get it. I gravitate towards it because it never, it never gets old to me. And this is true because you guys know how old these frames are. Purchased them in 2004 when I purchased my second home. That's how long I've had these frames. And I still love them just as much today as I did back then. This is why I tell you to buy what you love and you'll never get tired of it. So let me set this back over. Look at my babies. Okay, so I was going to do those and I was going to be totally satisfied with that. But given the theme that I was going with and the color with Alan, I will um, share with you as I style it. I saw these frames and I knew that I had to have them, right? 
you guys look at how beautiful keep in mind the diamonds and pearls look at how gorgeous these frames are so i'm gonna print up five by seven photos i mean four these are four by actually one of them is different i think this is a four by what is it girl this is a five by seven okay this is a five by seven so these two designs are the same but how stunning let me get up close so you can see the details how stunning is that guys absolutely gorgeous and def does it not say royalty does it not give you queen charlotte vibes yeah i'm obsessed with queen charlotte okay oh you know what that's what i did okay so one of them is a four by six and then the other of each design is a five by seven so i picked up four because i'm going to be highlighting four of these queens maybe even five if i can find a picture but i wanted to just pay homage to them and i will of course leave them in these frames and have them displayed throughout my home because i'm not one of those that feel like we shouldn't have photos of our families and loved ones in our homes i don't want my home to just be so stagey all the time i want it to reflect who i am who i love and what's important to me and what's more important than your legacy than, than, than your your ancestors those that paved the way for you my mom my grandmother my great grandmother my mother in love just beautiful women and i want to highlight them and showcase them beautifully in these frames and that's what your girl's going to do so i'm excited about those they're five we'll see the five by seven well four by six was six five ninety nine and the five by sevens were six ninety nine but they're two different designs let me show you let me show you yeah they are okay so it's two different designs but both of them and the diamond and pearl theme and i'm so excited about finding that those are those things that you create just something that's standard what they say off the rack but you make it something custom and meaningful to you so can't wait to do that right okay 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 and the final thing from ross you guys could not leave without her you guys know that i am styling my kitchen for the summer well you may not know but i have been years past i've styled my kitchen in the queen bee theme and this year or last year took on a special meaning because my mom's name was queen and it's all about the queen for me right so and it's so fitting of the house of royalty right so i saw this i'm doing the bee theme and thought girl just add it just add it in the cart okay put it in the cart and it is none other than this cute little gold tray and i love that it's a metallic anytime you see something that says crafted in india made in india it is going to be good quality and i love the fact that it's not breakable honey because i have broken up so many home decor pieces um just getting things shifted around just bumping it breaking it but i want things that are let me see i'm not going with the less is more phase but i'm going with the more statement pieces in terms of my accessories in my home so you'll start to see little changes here and there not going to just break out and um change everything out but the things i'm purchasing moving forward are going to be statement pieces that you will see repeated in my home and just styled in different ways which is kind of what i've been doing but not so much as your um off the rack type of things but something more custom something more high-end level think uttermost think thomasville just just being more um intentional about the pieces that i use to curate the looks throughout my home so i'll be kind of weeding out you know the typical and just bringing in something more custom and more upscale for my taste or to in my taste so look at this guy pick the bumblebee look at it it is a bumblebee with the honeycomb and i am here for it all so this was only 6.99 guys could not leave it in the store so that is it from ross all right guys so up next is amazon who would i be if i did not bring you some items from amazon aka amazon and it is a plethora of all of the things guys i'm going to speak to your mind your body your spirit and your soul with this segment okay so up first i picked up this absolutely wonderful wonderful find i think i was on tiktok so this was an influential purchase um just watching the cleaning videos or what have you and the young lady was showcasing or sharing the professional grade premium cleaning um solution by hoover i have a hoover smart wash so when she showed what she was able to clean in her home with this particular cleaner because it is a professional grade it's more concentrated i was like add it in the cart so i picked it up you guys and when i tell you it is amazing it has my carpets looking brand new there were spots that i tried to clean previously that i could not get out went back with this one 
knocked it right out. So I would definitely, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. So of course I will have everything from Amazon linked in my Amazon store, okay? Moving right along, moving right along. Going into, I guess since we're still in the home decor vein, you guys. Now this was something else that was also influenced by another fam another um, YouTube family, another YouTube sister. And that was none other than Brie of uh, Modern Living with Brie. She shared a black, and it is a, a black version of a candle warmer. And you guys, I do have a lot of candles and I've been getting more candles as of late. I do my daughter and through Darcyer collaborations and I love the way they smell, but you guys, I don't really do, I don't burn the candles because they give me excruciating headaches, right? And I've tried all kinds, soy, wood, wig, you name it, I've tried them. And when I saw her display that, when I showcase that one, I thought, let me give that a try and see what the result would be. I, of course, went with something that was more fitting to my aesthetic. So I went with this beautiful gold one. Uh, it looks like a decor piece, has the cord. I, my, my only thing is I wish the cord was more discreetly hid, but of course I can run the cord down like that and then plug it in wherever I want. Comes with the light bulbs. It gives you a 40 and a 60 watt, I think, and I have the highest wattage in here. And it has, the on and off button you can set the hours for two for eight hours you can adjust the light um brightness up to four levels and you guys i have been using this and when i tell you amazing i didn't have not one single headache i wasn't sneezing my eyes wasn't running or anything and i've used several of the candles that i've shared with you guys in recent hauls and they oh my god the throw is amazing i'm so happy to have found this because now i can use some of my candles right i love that it has the gold or the brass body and then it has like the marble face really really pretty so if that is your aesthetic uh, the ivory and gold or the marble and gold it will definitely fit that they had other colors but again i picked one that fit my aesthetic and i'm so glad i did i'm going to be purchasing a couple more because i love these so much right Okay, so also from Amazon, I picked up these. Beautiful, beautiful. I guess I was in a whole diamond and pearl vibe from when I purchased the um, when I purchased the printer frames. Because I saw these on Amazon, how they give you those you may also like or you know, type of thing. After I purchased some more sandals, and I saw these and I thought, put them in the cart, but how adorable and classy are these i can see me strolling down the airport you know doing my little leisurely luxury lounge vibe you know because i like to look cute at the airport when i'm traveling i don't want to be traveling frumpy i just that's just a thing for me like even if i'm not doing makeup i still want to be put together and you don't have to do a lot to be put together cute little two-piece outfit maybe on some shades some cute little shoes you put together sis of course you got to be smelling good spray on the dossier or whatever your fragrance of choice is and you're all set Another reason why I purchased these because they were like a limited um, 15 to 20% off. So they were originally like 30 something dollars and I got them for $19.99. Again, how gorgeous, stunning and classy are those in that diamond and pearl design with a cute little bow. I love it, it's giving Chanel. I'm gonna set those there. Keeping in with the fashions of it all, I would say. My mother was a lover of all things African print of tribal decor. And so I think in, you know, missing her, yearning her, I've kind of fallen in love with that. I had a little bit of it in my um, clothing um, collection or what have you, like handbags, few pieces, but now I find myself purchasing a lot of things from the tribal vibe, especially since I'm gonna be doing a Juneteenth inspired or Juneteenth tree. And it's all tribal inspired with beautiful bold patterns Everything I see now, it, I just gravitate towards it. And so when I was on Amazon, of course, this popped up because I had purchased some other things. And it is a three-piece um, Ankara, I hope I'm saying that right, um, piece set. Beautiful diamond-shaped earrings with that pattern. This lovely necklace. And it's a fabric, you guys, and I love that. So, and if I need to, like, launder it or something, I can wash this. But beautiful piece. It has two adjustable buttons, so you can adjust the... Um, the length of your collar or your necklace i love that and then it came with two bracelets okay so gorgeous so fun you could pop this with a black outfit or orange outfit peel any of the colors a beautiful white shirt some jeans and just be classy and cute and elevate any look for a fraction of the cost i think it was maybe 20 bucks 19 bucks for the entire set okay now getting into more fragrance okay 
I was inspired by TikTok. TikTok made me do it. You guys, I don't know if you haven't heard of this. I don't know where you've been. But it is the infamous um, Dubai fragrance, the Aram uh, Sultan. And I was absolutely intrigued by it because everybody that smelled it gave a different depiction of what it smelled like. And I was wanting to try it, right? Because I'm a fragrance girl, right? And then um, they... Oh, it does. It smells. I, I don't know if it smells like a lady on the on the beach eating grapes with no. I don't know about all that, but it smells good. It gives very exotic, very sweet, very gourmand, and it's an oil. So I was intrigued by that because I tend to love oil-based um, fragrances, and because they're harder to find now. So I absolutely love this. It's a tiny little bottle, but. For the price, I'm not mad. I think it was 20 bucks for this little bottle. And they gave all the things to look for to know that you were getting an original um, one because apparently there, there are dupes of it. But this was an original, so it met all, it checked off all the marks and the oil does linger for a good amount of time. So I was happy, happy to add that to my collection. So now I'm on this whole Arabian fragrance kit. So there'll be more to come. But they're so inexpensive, like why not? You only live once. And if it's in your budget to do it, baby, ball out, okay? So, we have three more things from Amazon, and then we're going to wrap it up with what my Sephora find, guys. I found, I finally caught one of the Sephora VIP sales, so I'm going to be sharing that with you, but let me give you the last three things. I told you we're speaking to the spirit, the soul, and the body, right? The spirit, the mind, and the body, right? I am a woman of faith, if I am nothing else, and prayer and intercession has been a part of my life all of my Christian life, like I got saved as they say, or I got, you know, as they say, I got saved. I received the Lord as my Lord and Savior um, when I was 19 years old. No, I was 20 years old. And um, I just, I love prayer. Prayer was one of those things that just came easily to me. I, I watched my grandmother and her, um, her Eastern Star sisters and the mothers of the church and when she was an usher, the ushers of the church, like lay out before the floor, have all night prayer meetings. My sister and I will be a part of that. So I grew up with prayer being a part of my life, right? And so as I delved into the Christian um, teachings and theology even deeper, I grew, I grew really fun to the Hebrew and the Greek mythology of it all. And just delving into that world of intercession, I learned about prayer shawls or prayer shawls. And so I, when we moved, I misplaced my, I don't know what happened to it. I've had that one for about 15 years or so. And a very special woman of God who is no longer with us, um, she gifted me with that one. And so it meant a lot, but I couldn't find it. But anyway, I'm saying it to say, I don't even know what made me, how, I don't know how it popped up. Maybe because of the book that I'm going to be sharing with you next. And it popped up, you know, just prayer shops. I was like, oh my God, I can get one on Amazon. Because we ordered ours through um, Mardell's, the book, the Christian bookstore years ago. And so I said, I'm going to have to just go back and get one from, from there. But when I saw this one in my spirit color, I was like, come on, Jesus. Come on, literally, come on, Jesus. So it is in the beautiful aquas or teals, turquoises, and gold etching. I absolutely love this. It says, the Lord bless you with boldness to enter the Holy of Holies by the blood of Yeshua. I love this, guys. And so, do your research on intercession and prayer cloths and what they what they signify. It's nothing, nothing, it's, it's strictly spiritual, okay? It's strictly um, Holy Ghost feel. It, it, it's, it's, it is what it is, okay? It ain't nothing religious about this. This is a very um, spiritual, beautiful experience that I, I encountered through delving into the world of intercession and it just takes your your prayer life to another level not that you need a fabric too but once you understand the significance of it and you get into true intercession it it's amazing so i'm happy to have another one like i said i haven't seen it since we moved it's just been a little over a year and i looked everywhere for it but thank god i have another one and that leading now into another part that would enhance the spirit mind and it is this it is the book of Enoch. If any of you are Bible scholars or, again, you delve into beyond the, the um, 66 books, you know that there were some books that were removed from 
the uh, original Bible, and it is called the Apocrypha, and the Book of Enoch is one of those books. And so my goal is to build the entire collection. I had it in paperback form and a tablet from when we did this theology study years ago, and it has too disappeared. I don't know. Maybe it's in storage with all of my daughter's like pictures and you know the stuff you keep from your kids from school. I'm hoping that's where it is because I haven't come across. I it was with my office supplies, but anywho, girl, it went in there. So I went ahead and just got the so that I could get um, it in hardback form. So I plan to get each book that um, that was part of the apocrypha. So the Book of Enoch was the first one that I picked up. So intriguing, so insightful. If you are a Bible scholar, just want to delve deeper into the things of God, um, check it out. Read, read the book of Enoch with your fresh on, girl. Take it to a whole nother level. Anywho, let's get the last portion from Amazon. Because again, y'all, this is the house of royalty now. And I am more than just home decor. You've heard me say that so many times before. And if I'm nothing at all, babe, I'm a woman of God. I'm an intercessor. P31 in every sense of the word. I strive to be her, display her, share her, and show her. So that is, even though I may joke or may be lighthearted about it, because it's a shopping haul, I am very serious about my walk with God, okay? So don't take that as me just being lighthearted or dismissing it. I'm, by my God, I don't play, okay? So let's move on now to the last item. I am so excited. I think I shared with you guys maybe a couple of hauls ago, the last haul that I did, that my daughter and I was going on a mother daughter trip. And I'm so blessed that God has really, when they say when you were really arrived, when your children started start buying you things or, or do, treating you to things. And my baby girl has blessed me with a trip uh, that's some, somewhere I've always wanted to go. And I'm excited about it, guys. We're gonna be taking a trip to Napa Valley. And I'm, I cannot wait, but this chick, she's not just, she well, she's her mama's child, so she's extra. So we have a whole, um, dress itinerary in addition to the itinerary of events and so one of our dress attires for one of the days is yeah one of the days one of the looks is a um breakfast at tiffany's inspired look and so i was instructed by my daughter mother to pick up a sexy or sexy cl a classy sexy That's, no she said classy sultry black dress okay that was her definition so i won't say sexy she said sultry so I picked up this beauty from Amazon because I have a million and one um, black dresses. But I'm going to tell you how to be young kid. I'll tell you how she do me. So we're FaceTiming and I'm showing her all of my black looks right now. And she was like, girl, that is giving Lady May. And if you ever watched Green, the show Greenleaf, you know the Lady May was the pastor's wife. She said, oh, that is so Lady May. She gets on my nerves. But anyway, she said none of the black dresses that I had fit the theme of what she was going for. So she gave me her approval on this one. And I will share with you on this side how this, the queen had it styled. It doesn't look like much on the hanger, guys. And I may wear this um, as part of one of the shopping hauls, but definitely going to be taking it to Napa. But um, it's going to be, we're doing a train ride. And it's, I, I'm so excited. So the, the theme will be like black with the pearls, right? So I share a purse with you guys the last haul that I will be rocking with said ensemble. But honey... I'm gonna show you how sister girl, bam. That was, the, once I saw her right there, I was like, yeah, that's, that's what me want right there. So I am going to be sultry and classy in my own Audrey Hepburn area. I'm so excited about that trip, you guys. Um, I don't know if you guys will get this before or after the trip, but just know we're gonna have ourselves a time. And I'm so excited about that trip. So, and leading to the next thing, where am I going next? All right, guys. So I just have three more things to share from different stores, but I'm going to run it all together, okay? So we can wrap this thing up. Next, the first thing out of this set grouping is going to be this cute little handbag. And I found it at the most, I guess, unexpected place. My um, cousin and family were here visiting for um, my grandmother's 95th birthday. And so one of the days, um, a day my cousin, she blessed Ananda with the shopping spree. So we went out to um, take her shopping and then one, one of her little favorite stores was Rainbow, right? So we went in there and I saw this bag and I thought, oh girl, I gotta have that. Super cute. I think, I'm um, again, it was the pearl. <laughs> the pearl with the gold, that's what got me. Cute little bag, $7.99, you guys. But how classy and dainty is this? I, if it had, they had it in another color, I probably would have gotten it. But for that price, I could not, I could not pass it up. Only to get home and realize that I have literally five other bags 
in this same color, but we ain't judging, right? Don't judge me, judge it, you got it. Okay, so now, moving on to the next item of last three. This is two of three. Um, I guess I need to show you the box first before I pull it out. You guys know that I am a shoe girl, and I don't know if this is a, um, if this is going to be a Napa um, piece or not. I purchased it for another, I just purchased it because they were cute and classy and on sale, okay? And there's some Gianni Beanie Heels. We were at Dillard's on that same shopping day, and they have, they were doing a markdown where they had done some markdowns. And I saw these, and I was like, ooh, girl. Ooh, girl, girl, girl. But how cute is this? Just a real classy, I'm a pump girl, yes. I, well, I love all types of shoes, but to me, a pump just really sets an outfit off it just takes it to another level and so i love the black and it's a satin i love the black but that white but well, it's not even white it's more like a bone almost a champagne color kind of matches that but real real sultry classy shoe i envision this with like this is my fine this is my mind i like a bell bottom slack a bold color with a subtle black uh, statement top these shoes and some black and bone accessories Set it all the way off, okay? So you be fabulous for church house, brunch house, your house, anybody's house. It's gonna be cute wherever you go in these. So I picked these up from um, Dillard's guys. They were originally, I think, $99, and I got them for $55, I believe. I don't see, I think, but I, I know they were 50. When they rang it up, it was 58 and some change, but they were originally like $100. So I was excited about that buy, right? And then the final thing, guys, like I said, I finally caught the Sephora sale. And I may have literally got it the last day. So I have been wanting to, every year I go through this phase of where I want to level up my skincare, right? I am a tried and true girl. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I have my real basic skincare routine. But every once in a while, I like to try to level it up and add a whole skincare. Because I'm a creature of habit and I believe and I know that systematically things work better when you use the whole complete kit of it so last year i tried the versed kit i liked it but i just it wasn't enough for me to rebuy i think it's a good beginner um set or cleansing system but i wanted again i haven't ruled it out but it just i want to try something else and so i was torn between a couple of others I went between the Fenty and then this one when it ran the sale and well, I saw somebody post about the last day of the sale. I was like, this is my time to try it. And it is none other than the Tatcha brand. I went ahead and picked the entire system because again, I am a creature of habit and just my, all of my 30 years as an educator, I know that products are designed to work one with the other or better one with the other. You can throw in other products, but if you choose a whole system of things, you're guaranteed to get a better result out of said thing. And with that, that's the approach I take on hair care, skin care, what's the never, right? So I picked up the, of course, it was a couple, what got me y'all? You gotta know what got me? Mm -hmm. So I love the packaging. This color is beautiful to me. It speaks spa, tranquil, luxury, all of the things, right? This is the, Exfoliate the deep cleanse. I got the deep cleanse because I tend to always feel like I need a deeper cleansing. Although the young lady at the store was like, you don't really need that. Girl, put that in my car. I don't want no gentle cleanse. I'm used to a rough or a, an abrasive type of cleanser. That's just what I tend to like. Um, so I got the deep cleanse. They had other options, but I opted for this one, right? And so after your cleanser, you always want to go with the toner. So we got the Tatcha Intense or the Tatcha Essence. It is their toner. And I absolutely Love the tone. I actually started using it. Um, oh, so you, this is May 1st when I'm recording. So you may get this in real time. I'm not sure. Um, after that, because they give you the steps that you take. So you always want to cleanse and you want to tone. So I got the cleanser and the essence toner. And then I followed up with the water cream. Had so many raging reviews on the water cream. Actually, um, Nita Danielle is who inspired me to go ahead and try the Tatcha because she speaks very well. I think she does like the rice water. But when I looked at my skincare needs, the deep cleanse, the deep exfoliating cleanser is what really um, spoke to me as far as the needs for me. So I got that, I got the essence toner, and then I got the water cream, right? Beautiful, beautiful um, product. It's creamy, it's very, very rich, guys. I love this. I, with me, I can tell right off if I'm gonna like something or not. And I love the consistency of this, and I love 
the, it is I don't like fragrances or products that have a overpowering fragrance. I just want the product to do what the product is supposed to do. I don't want to be bamboozled with a, with a cute scent. I want to know that that product is going to work for me from ingredients and texture and things like that. And it has a really nice, um, this is a subtle fragrance and I like that. And a real nice creamy thick substance and it feels amazing on the skin. And then the final thing I picked up guys was the um, Peony, the Silk Peony Eye Cream. So these are the four things that I'll be using or that I have started using. And I'm gonna see if they, or what they're all hyped up to be. So I'll probably be keeping you updated on that. But that was what I picked up from the Sephora sale. And I'm actually glad I got it because I'm, like I said, first day was, did a tons of research y'all, but first day of usage, I was pleased. So we'll see how the night cleansing routine goes and I'll keep you guys posted. But that's it. That's all of this amazing plethora of all things shopping haul. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you stay tuned to the next video because I'm going to be coming, of course, with more home decor because that is the base of what the house of royalty is all about. It's building a beautiful home, honey, from the foundation of mind, body, spirit, and soul. We'll be encompassing all things that make us the kings and queens that God has called us to be. So until the next video, I want you guys to hit those notification bells, click them twice so that you know when I upload new content. And until the next video, guys, stay safe, remain royal, and have yourselves a blessed and beautiful day. Bye.